Hey guys, Katrina here, this ever really. Welcome back to my channel. Well, in Sunday's video, I told you I was going to do some baking. My Sainsbury's order finally arrived. So I'm going to have an attempt at making brilliant banana loaf. And as you can see, I'm all gloved up and splinted up. If you have ADS yourself, you will know that sometimes things like cooking can cause your joints to dislocate. So it's safer for me to do cooking with my splints on. So, will you join me? I will put a link in the description to where I got this recipe from. So you, you can do the same. Hopefully it will not go as bad as the, the last time. The first instruction is to heat the oven to 180 Celsius. So, let's go and do that. And while that's heating up, we'll get on with the rest of it. The next instruction is to butter and line this two pound bread tin. I've got a brush in here somewhere. I just melted the butter in the microwave, so it should make things a bit easier. I should have a brush. After the last time, I also got myself an apron because I spilled everything everywhere in the last one. And then I have to line the sides with the bacon paper. There's probably too much paper left to hold down. Right, I have to cream the butter and then add the castor sugar in. It would be handy if we got the mixture right first, wouldn't it? That should do it. I use this because it's easier for me to operate on other than the handheld one. I have literally been everywhere trying to get castor sugar. Four different shops. And it was the same for getting printer ink yesterday. I uh, tried on Amazon. Apparently they no longer deliver printer ink to Northern Ireland. No thanks to Brexit. No joy. But I got this anyway, and I did manage to find printer ink eventually. Now to sift in the 140 gram of castor sugar, and then I'm going to use the mixer to clean it. I don't have to do this, but I was always told when I'm adding powder into my sort of baking mix, I was to sift it to get the chunks all out of it. Now for the mixer. Now to add in the two beaten eggs and a little bit of the flour. It just says to add in a little bit, so I'm taking a rough guess of how much to add in the first time. So. Here goes nothing. The strange thing about this recipe is after the step that I've just done, then go ahead and tell you to uh, put in the rest of the flour. I don't know why they just didn't say put in all of the flour at once. Bit daft, like if you ask me. nice sort of consistency to it now. And then I have to add a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I have to add in two mashed bananas. It helps to have a squidgy or a scraper as I call it to get it off the masher and into the main bowl. Mix it all together, making sure that the part cord's not in the way. I always like to make sure that I've got all the stuff that's on the sides as well, so every now and again I give it a bit of 
So I'm buzz running with the scraper. Now mix it again. Alright, now we can get our pre buttered pen with the paper. Um, let's have an attempt at getting this put into the baking pan. See if I can do this without dropping the bowl. That would be nice. I think I could have straightened out the paper a bit, but I won't do. It would be messed up where I was going anyway. Um, now it says to put it in the oven for about 50 minutes, so let's do that. I love these type of oven gloves because they're easier for me to put on. Now I will set a timer for this to cook because otherwise I'll forget about it. Now to my evil body subscribers, this might not look like a lot of dishes, but I prefer to use the, the fish washer as much as possible. If you have problems with your hands like me, you will know how sore it is. Um, plus there's a danger of dropping the knife or something, so I'm just going to start this up. I my cake is cooking. Alright, so that's the 50 minutes up. It smells cooked, so let's see if it is. Oh, wow, I'd say that's cooked, would you? Let's see if it's cooked in the middle. This is an old trick my uh, home economics teacher taught me. That knife look, looks pretty clean, so it is cooked. I'm not going to bother putting icing on this because you know the trouble I had with the icing the last time. Although in the recipe it says you can make your own with a bit of icing sugar and water. I'm not going to bother doing that because this is sweet enough for me. But it is nice and cooked. Thank you for watching. I'm not going to try it now. I will try it tomorrow when it's cooled down a bit and I'll put up the photo on, on my Instagram account which is linked below so I hope you enjoyed um, making this at least it went a little bit better than the last time so thank you for watching if you like this video please like, comment and subscribe clicking below and remember to hit the notification bell as YouTube does not notify you when I upload a video. Unless you hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.